Good evening, Ms. White, wonderful educators, honored guests, parents, and the matric class of 2016. So before I begin, a brief disclaimer. This speech will incorporate the use of fire, so kids, do not try this at home. Okay, by show of hands, how many of you like tea? Tea, like the drink. Tea, anyone? See a few hands, no teachers like tea. Okay, okay. Personally, I'm more of a Coke kind of guy, because, you know, it's just better there. So, tonight, I'm going to compare the class of 2016 to, well, a tea bag. So, yes, I can imagine you'd much rather be compared to Nico Rosberg, driving his Mercedes cross, crossing the finish line of the Grand Prix. But hey, that's not really my style. For tricks, we are this tea bag. So, if you look carefully, you'll see that there's a label attached to it. When we arrived at Greenside in grade 8, expectations were cast upon us. There was expectations to do well, to succeed, to not get into detention. See, some of us didn't quite get that one right yet. Um, but naturally we began to label each other. Labels such as the cool kids. We have the cool kids Kayla, you know, the shard, cool kids. We have the geeks, I don't know, that's probably me. Uh, we have the only dramatic ones, Miriam. We have the jocks, Sifle, Austin, how you guys doing? Good, eh? Yeah. And the rebels, I'm not going to mention any names. So these labels weren't really necessary. So we just get rid of those. And then if you look, yeah, there's still a string, right? The string represents the teachers at Greenside High School. No, not because they want to strangle us all the time, but because they've helped us throughout the years with no strings attached. Get it? No strings attached. <laughs> to the incredible teachers sitting here today, thank you for all the hours you've given to us. Selflessly staying up late at school, no extra pay, I think, and just for being our role models. I definitely appreciate the English ICU you must slack. The extra morning maths lessons must help her. When I think about passionate and dedicated teachers, I have to mention Mr. Strauss, aka Struggle. <laughs> Mr. Strauss, you're one of the most inspirational teachers I've had the privilege to meet. You guys should hear Mr. Strauss complaining on a Friday about leaving school. He, com he complains because he doesn't wanna miss his, he's gonna miss his grade 8 babies over the weekend and his class. So, Mr. Strauss, I am striving to be more like you. I'm super proud to be one of your children. I know everyone, he did not pay me to say that. <laughs> then to Mr. Pariachi, Ms. Brenzi, Mr. Channon, thank you for being our great heads. Mr. Brenzi, Mr. Pariachi, you've journeyed with us since day one of grade eight, and you've sort of become like our parents away from home. Shouting at us, punishing us, <laughs> getting us into detention, and of course loving us a little bit too. Mr. Channon, thank you for joining the family this year. I hope it wasn't the worst decision of your life. Thank you for your inspirational pep talks. You really have done us through this year. And then, my lovies, I have to mention Ms. Brenda. <laughs> We've heard the word, you say the word irregularity more times than we can count. <laughs> Thank you so much for preparing us for these exams. You've told us before that you take joy in punishing us, but we all know that you really love us a lot, deep down, somewhere. <laughs> so can you please give these four awesome people a round of applause? And then to the parents sitting here today, including my own parents, thank you so much for taking us to school every day for five years, lots of petrol. Um, thank you for just being with us, somebody we can talk to if we go through stuff. Thank you for coming to awards evenings and thank you for being here tonight. While I'm thanking people, I have to mention my senior leaders. Thank you so much, you guys are special. I'm so proud of all of you. Your hard work and dedication to this school have really been noticed. And then thank you to Mashuru for being here with me. Your joyful personality has helped all of us, and I couldn't ask for a better head girl to work with. <laughs> when you arrived at Greenside High School, you arrived with baggage. Our insecurities, fears, attitudes, racial and cultural barriers, and bad behavior. Over the past five years, I think we've gotten rid of a large amount of that. Not all of it. Personally, I arrived at Greenside High School as a small, shy little guy. Okay, I'm still little, but I got rid of the shy part. Doing drama at Greenside High School, I faced one of my biggest fears, speaking in front of a crowd on a stage, which I'm doing tonight. I would never have imagined that I'd be giving a speech about tea bags at Valedictory. So I'm getting rid of the baggage here. 
Once all the baggage is gone, we can stand tall. The teachers at Greenside High School have equipped us with the skills and knowledge necessary to go out into the world as adults. Malapropism, zzzzm, laid in the photo, uh, calculus and Newton's first law will help us next year. <laughs> Somehow. <laughs> so, just swatch. So we are standing tall, ready to face the next exciting phase in our lives. Here we still need to get through finals. Now we couldn't do a speech without mentioning Greenside Spirit. I know you've all felt Spirit at some stage or another. I've felt Spirit every Wednesday, shouting the Shazawaka at the top of my lungs in the quad. I felt it at academic awards evenings, open days, sports awards assemblies, cultural awards evenings, first team sports matches, cultural performances, and every day when I walked through the beautiful grounds of our school. And then finally tonight, Seeing you all here, the people I've journeyed with for so long, the people I've grown to love, I'm going to miss you all. Greenside's spirit is often represented by a flame, and so tonight I'll end with that. I did warn you about the fire earlier. Greenside's spirit has enabled us to fly high, to soar, and to reach new heights. Okay, it's supposed to fly. Oh well. Maybe it's a sign. Okay. Fail. We will reach new heights. Um, I'm so proud to have been a Greenside student and your head boy. Thank you so much.